Hi, high school. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you guys are ready to do some reading. I've got two books ready today. Um, and let's just go ahead and get started. I think it'll be fun. All right. The first one is called Mira's Curly Hair. Mira had very curly hair. It curled at the front. It curled at the back. It curled everywhere. Do you know what this is called right here? What is this? It's a hair dryer. A hair dryer. Can you point to the hat? It's not on her head, that's a hint. There's the hat right there. Mira didn't like her hair. She wanted it to be straight and smooth, just like her mama's. She tried to pull it down, but it's still curled up. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of animal do you see in this picture? I see a horse. There's a horse. That's all I see. She stood on her head, but the curling wouldn't stop. Can you point to the bunny rabbit? There's the bunny. What time of day does it look like it is outside? What time of day? It looks like it is nighttime out there. I see stars and everything. She used some old books to straighten out her hair, but when she got up, there were curls everywhere. Mira wanted her hair to be straight and smooth, just like her mama's. One cloudy day, Mira went for a stroll, holding her mama's hand. Drip. Drip, drip, rain started to fall. Can you point to the dog? Point to the dog, there he is. They ran towards a palm a reach and crouched among the chicks and geese. How many birds do you see here? There's chicken and a goose. How many? How many birds? There's one, two, three, four. I see four birds. As they sat waiting for the rain to clear, Mama looked, Mira looked at her mama and started to stare. What's the weather outside in this story right now? What's the weather outside? It looks rainy. Mama's hair was curling up and up. It kept on curling, it wouldn't stop. How do you think Mira feels right now? How do you think Mira feels 
looking at her mom's hair that looks so similar to hers. She's probably very excited. Maybe she's amazed because she's never seen it like that before. Definitely feeling happy though. Mama, mama, look at your hair. It looks beautiful and free, curling everywhere. What color are the birds in this picture? There's a couple different ones, so there's a few correct answers. What color are the birds in this picture? There's blue, red, and yellow, but all of them have really cool colors all in their feathers. From that day on, curls were the only way Mira and her mama wore their hair every day. Wonderful. I like that one. All right, I'm going to just switch right over to the next one. The next one will be fun. It's called Ninja, The Legend of Ninja Cowboy Bear. Once upon a time, there were three friends, a ninja, a cowboy, and a bear. They did everything together and enjoyed each other's company. However, they were each different in their own way. What are some things that you can see the ninja, the cowboy, and the bear doing? So they're doing a lot of stuff in these pictures. Here they are painting. Here they are reading a story. Right here, it looks like they're having a pizza party. And then here, they're all in a band. And then they're flying a kite. And they're looking at clouds and saying what they think they look like. But they're different in their own way. One day, those differences came between them. And here is what happened. The ninja and the bear started to quarrel. The ninja thought he was better than the bear. The bear disagreed, obviously. Do you know what game they're playing here? What game do you play where you have a disc that you're throwing? What are they playing? They're playing Frisbee. Can you say that? Frisbee. All right. So they asked the cowboy to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the cowboy arranged a competition to see who could build the largest pile of rocks. Mm -hmm. Can you help me count the little blue birds in this picture? Let's count all the little blue birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. I see seven little blue birds. Hmm. Although the ninja tried his best, in the end, his pile was much smaller than the bear's. So the bear boasted that he was unbeatable. Can you point to the larger pile of rocks? Point to the larger pile of rocks. There it is. The cowboy disagreed. He thought he could beat the bear and they began to argue. So they asked the ninja to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the ninja created a competition to see who could pick 
the most raspberries. Do you like eating raspberries? I love raspberries, they're so fun. They have an interesting texture. Who do you think is building, or who is picking the most raspberries? Just from what you see here, is it the cowboy picking a lot of raspberries or is, is the cowboy picking a lot of raspberries over here? Or is the bear picking a lot of raspberries? I've seen a lot of raspberries in the cowboy bowl. There we go. Although the bear tried his best, he could not collect nearly as many raspberries as the cowboy. So the cowboy claimed that no one could beat him. The ninja disagreed and another argument began. So they decided to ask the bear to decide who was better. Unable to choose between his friends, the bear created a competition to see who could catch the most rabbits. Oh my goodness. Looks like the cowboy's gonna have a little bit of a difficult time here. Although the cowboy tried his best, he could not catch as many rabbits as the ninja. Afterwards, the three friends were confused. They still did not know who was the best. Frustrated, they parted ways. The ninja spent time in quiet meditation. The bear consulted with a wise old friend. And the cowboy took to the hills. How many bunny rabbits do you see? Let's count. How many bunny rabbits do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, what comes next? Nine, there are nine bunny rabbits. Ooh, can you point to the cloud that looks like a bunny? There's the cloud that looks like a bunny. And soon they each realized something very important. The ninja appreciated the bear's great strength. The bear wondered at the cowboy's precision and accuracy, and the cowboy was in awe of the ninja's agility. The ninja, the cowboy, and the bear recognized that no one had to be the best. They were each special and unique, just like you and me. It looks like you could play a version of rock, paper, scissors but with ninja, cowboy, and bear. Let's see. To be a ninja, you gotta kick one leg out. To be a cowboy, you gotta do like this. And then to be a bear, reach your arms really high. And it works the same way as rock, paper, scissors. Ninja beats cowboy, cowboy beats bear, and bear beats ninja. Y'all give that a try and tell me how it goes. I would love to hear about it. Sounds like a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, again very soon. See y'all later.